I know how to report things that I see that aren't good. And I know how to um, see if uh, um, see if websites like real or not, that the information that I'm looking at is real. The Click Against Hate program was a good experience and it taught us not to stereotype because it can hurt people and you can get in trouble. It taught me quite a lot about how like if I see something on social media or just like media on the internet, um, how to be able to identify if it's real or not, if someone has just written it out of their opinion or if it's factual and yeah, that's kind of what I took out of the experience. Uh, I'd recommend the Cognitive Hate Program to all students. It's, um, it makes you think about all bullying and how to stop it and how to look for it as well online and in real life. It gave me the view and the understanding of what capabilities people have behind a keyboard and um, what they can do to troll and to stalk people on social media. So by the time the students reach Year 9, their understanding and their use of internet, social media devices, they're connected to their iPhones, their iPads, their computers. And what we don't always appreciate is they don't necessarily have the skills or even sometimes the maturity to respond to some of the information and also some of the motives and emotional messages that they get through social media and the internet. The ADC's Click Against Hate program comes not only at the perfect time for their development, but it also addresses some of their key needs, not just in terms of skills, which are really important, but also in terms of the underlying messages that are sent to them in so many different ways. At the ADC, we see education as the most powerful tool for combating hatred. Online anti-Semitism and incitement is occupying the ADC's time more and more. The World Wide Web, with its potential to cultivate the best through communication, has become a crucial tool for anti-Semites, racists and extremists to recruit members and to promote their hateful messages inexpensively and instantaneously. To save our children from mongoloids and the Negroes and Jews. Children and young adults are therefore more vulnerable than ever, and so we need to find ways to counteract the internet's dark side and tackle this problem head on. To fight back against anti-Semitism and cyberbullying, the ADC now runs the transformative Click Against Hate program, a free, groundbreaking interactive training program for students in primary and secondary schools. Click Against Hate educates young people to develop strategies for protecting themselves against anti-Semitism, cyberbullying and hate, urging them to prevent and take action against cyber hate when it happens to them or when they see it happening to others. So this next se session that we're going to be doing now is looking at websites and learning to see what is credible what is legitimate and what is not. Click Against Hate is a program that we have, that the Anti-Defamation Commission has designed to empower children to take on and deal with the online dangers that occur on the internet, such as cyberbullying, identity theft, um, incitement, etc. We also have to equip ourselves with the ability to recognise whether a website is legitimate or not. So we look at all the elements that make up whether a website is true or not, and how to respond to all sorts of issues such as anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, homophobia, etc. To be able to fight fire with fire, we need to be able to respond to things that upset us. Response has been excellent, um, and the more that we, we're getting out there, the more people are coming back to us with great feedback. It is a, a unique program. It is told through PowerPoint, video clips, and scenarios that are actually acted out by the students themselves for them to get further understanding of what it feels like. What dangers do we face today 
that may not have existed before the internet. Click Against Hate provides students with much needed skills to empower them to make responsible choices and respond intelligently when consuming media, whether it is on Facebook, watching the news, or even in social situations. And you think, I'm not sure if I know this person, I might know them, I might not, mm, not sure. What do you do? Hands up, who can tell me? Yeah. The ADC recognizes that often in those situations there are no adults present, so young people must be prepared to stand up for each other. In other words, to become proactive so as to counteract cyber bullies. Now all of a sudden, because of what Hayes told me, it's over here. My opinion has changed. And the program the equips students with the knowledge and tools to understand what information is credible. The students were encouraged to think critically, to evaluate the websites, to be independent about their ideas and to look at all sorts of media, from not only from the internet but from video and they looked at um, political cartoons and analysed them and they were really made to sit up and think, not just um, being told, look, let's not go to the net, to these bad websites. They were, they were looking at the websites and looking at how it's so easy to adopt opinions rather than think them out for yourself. What do you think that was about? What was it trying to show us? I mean, obviously you're not going to have hands coming out of computers or iPads or iPhones. What was it trying to show us? Yes. Someone could hide behind the screen and like, they, you don't really know who's bullying, you don't really know like, you can know who's bullying you, but they're not like facing you at that time. Absolutely. Yes. Today's young people require school environments that foster inclusiveness and respect for people of all faiths and cultures. This work is at the heart of the ADC's mission. We focus on the development of an inclusive culture and respectful school climate by addressing issues of bias and bullying and by providing students and teachers with the skills and knowledge to build safe learning environments for all, as well as imparting effective strategies to address bias, name-calling and intimidation. The good news is that Click Against Hate has been proven to work. This vitally important program is now operating in 50 private and public schools. Every day, more and more schools are taking up the program and we are very proud of our success.